Larry would also instruct the members of the group to have sex with each other under the guise of helping them shed their inhibitions. Photographs admitted as evidence at Larry Ray's trial show Felicia, Yelitsa, and Claudia working with heavy machinery in terrible conditions. Videos taken under Larry's instructions in November 2013 document incidents between himself and Felicia and her declining mental state. <laughs> I've been asking you to stop breaking stuff and stop hurting me and attacking me physically, and you refuse. Get out of my garage. Please, please. Get out. Get out of my garage. Please. please leave my garage. I've been asking you all morning. You've wasted two and a half hours. I love you, Larry, still. That's irrelevant. Yes, yeah, that's I fine. Love you that's too. good. That's good. Now stop. I love you, still. Well, then show me you do. What oh, you're doing Larry. isn't loving. Okay, fine. Can I get a hug, please? No. Please. You need to respect other people's work. I don't want to. I want to. It doesn't matter. Please. Yes, it does matter. No, it matters that you want to. That's your choice. But the other person I want to, Russ. To I love you, too. I love you but now. And I love you now, too. And I'll behave better now. Because I don't want to have your attention to that. I want them to be happy too. I want Andy Costa to go to law school. And I want the other two to go to Columbia. Why are you doing this? I'm not reading really angry. I'm angry about what? I'm Maritza. Who is Maritza? She is my mother. By the time the group left Pinehurst in late 2013, Santos had sent over $40,000 to Larry, and Yelitsa Rosario had attempted to take her own life. Back in New York, Larry continued to pit the siblings against each other and hold them responsible for the other's actions. In January 2014, when Larry wanted Felicia to stop talking, he instructed Santos to hit himself in the face until she did. Stop making no! Stop yes, making I'm done! That's how much you love me? That's how yes! Much yes! Yes! Stop yes. it! Stop making noise! I want to get up! Stop making noise, Felicia! Yeah, fine! Stop making noise! Yes! Stop making okay! Noise. This is how much you love me, huh? Yes! Yeah, clearly. A few weeks later, Santos attempted suicide. When he was released, Larry waited just two weeks before threatening to finish him off. Larry recorded his torment on audio tape as he threatened to kill Santos with a hammer and encouraged Santos and Felicia to hold hands and jump out of the window from the high-rise apartment. Give sorry. me my hammer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 yeah, I swear I'll destroy your skull. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I understand. Oh, I'm going to break your whole body. I swear no, I will. No, I know. Mind I, it very simple. You just leap like a frog. Why are you holding yeah, hands? Jump together. So no, cute. That's work. Now how cute that would be if you both jump. In audio recordings presented at the trial, Talia can be heard joining her father in threatening Santos and calling him a violent criminal who would be sent to jail for supposedly destroying her father's property. Just for destroying all the property he did, you would fall in the category of a violent criminal. Yes. Listening to these audio tapes, is it any wonder that Larry's followers believed Ray to be a man capable of anything? or that they believed that there would be terrible consequences if they did not tell him what he wanted to hear? Oh, 